Hello everyone, welcome back to Enduring Impressions. Today's episode will conclude our series on atomic habits. This video has everything you need to know to transform your life, so make sure to stick to the very end of this video. We'll uncover how small changes can make a big impact on your life. So let's get started. Motion versus action. Let me start with a simple example. Imagine a pottery class where the teacher divides students into two groups. Group A is tasked with creating just one perfect pot in two weeks, while Group B is asked to produce a hundred pots in the same time frame. Guess what happens? Group A, striving for that one perfect pot, ends up with a mediocre design. In contrast, Group B produces three to four exceptional pots out of their 100 attempts. This example illustrates that while we often chase perfection, sometimes quantity allows us to achieve quality. We bypass many good ideas in search of the perfect one. Furthermore, there's a key difference between motion and action. Motion involves planning and strategizing but doesn't lead to an outcome. For instance, if you only research how to lose weight but never hit the gym, you won't see any results. Planning is important, but execution is where the magic happens. Priming your environment, Japan's electronic sector surged ahead of its American counterpart, largely because of lean production, a practice that minimizes waste. By reducing friction in the production process, they were able to bring high-quality products to market more quickly. I, too, had to learn this lesson. I was addicted to playing FIFA on my PS5. To break this habit, I disconnected the console and packed it away. The friction of setting it up again made it more cumbersome to play freeing up my evenings for healthier activities. Design your environment to make good habits, effortless and bad habits difficult. Place cues for good habits in obvious places. If you want to read more, keep a book on your coffee table. Make good habits easy to do. Want to go to the gym more? Keep your gym bag ready at all times. Simplify good habits to make them easier to adopt. The fewer steps involved, the better. The secret lies in designing your environment. An environment conducive to good habits will make it easier for those habits to stick, while an environment full of friction points will inhibit bad habits. Your unfair advantage. Align your goals with your personality. Your talents are your unfair advantage. If you excel in writing but can't sing, focus on polishing your writing skills. Align your goals with your talents. Just like boiling water hardens an egg but softens a potato, choose the game that plays to your strengths. You can't change your inherent nature, but you can choose an environment where your nature is an asset. Habit tracking and accountability. Tracking your habits can be incredibly satisfying. It provides a roadmap of your progress. Having an accountability partner and setting up regular meetings can boost your motivation and keep you on track. The compound effect. Mastery aches habits plus deliberate practice. Small habits might not seem like much, but their compound effect is transformative. Consider an ice cube. The temperature rises incrementally from 24 to 31 degrees, yet nothing happens. But at 32 degrees, it starts to melt. Similarly, it may seem like that last degree of effort creates the change, but every step was essential. The habit repetition versus automaticity curve illustrates that the more you repeat a habit, the more automatic it becomes. Initially, a lot of conscious effort is required, but as you continue, less and less effort is needed. There's a sweet spot on the curve where the habit becomes second nature, requiring little to no mental effort. At this stage, the habit is ingrained in your daily routine and is performed almost subconsciously. Reaching this sweet spot is crucial for mastering a habit. It signifies the point where maintaining the habit becomes easier, allowing you to focus your mental resources on other tasks or new habits. For instance, if you're tracking your fitness journey, observing where you are on this curve can be invaluable. Are you still struggling to make it to the gym? Then you're in the high effort phase. But if going to the gym feels as natural as brushing your teeth, congratulations, you've hit the sweet spot. Remember, your life is essentially the sum of your habits. What you repeatedly do defines you. Thank you for joining me today in unraveling the power of atomic habits. Make sure to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. See you in the next video.